The Courage and Sparkle Foundation are the next sponsors of our award and for which there is only one winner. And to present and tell you all about this award, which is a very special award to us in particular, um, please welcome the Executive Chair and the Chair of the Foundation, Jacqueline Wynne Stanley and Beryl James. It's an immense pleasure to be sponsoring the Women of Courage Award this year in honour of our founder, Una McBride, as part of her Legacy Foundation. Una was a MWATI winner in 2016, and um, it's wonderful to see so many of her friends and colleagues and her adopted mum in the room. Our pleasure is tinged with sadness as each year we sponsor the award. It's an extra year's passing since Una lost her battle with the cancer dragon. Um, those of you who knew Una will know if one person could come back to us at certain times, Una would. And I'm sure she will be looking down and smiling at the abundance of courage and sparkle in this room. I'd like to say a special thank you as well before I go on to the award winner to, again, and you're hearing it over and over again today, Ellie, Jean and Elaine. Um, the work they do is amazing. They do so much to support the finalists, but also for the sponsors themselves, particularly when your sponsor has a bit of a wobble and kind of goes off radar for a while, and they have been absolutely amazing support to me this year. So I'd like now to talk a little bit about the winner of the Women of Courage Award. Um, on the 28th of November, 1986, our award winner was born. <laughs> Renounced by her mother, and she was placed into the care of Alder Hay Children's Hospital. She had an operation when she was just five hours old and then spent the first 18 months of her life in hospital. <coughs> Alder Hay named her their own because she had no parents or guardian until the amazing Mary and John came along. She was born with, and please forgive my pronunciation of this, it's not, it doesn't get better when you've got a northern accent and I'm probably going to get it wrong. Vactyl syndrome, which covers so many issues, and so far in her 32 years, she's had 98 operations, and a failed operation, which meant that her equally difficult to pronounce, lar laryngeal nerve, was damaged, leaving many complications. But while hardship causes many to grow bitter, Carly merely lets it make her get better. So, sorry, that rather gave it away at the end. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was so determined not to do that anyway. Never mind. So I would, <laughs> without further ado, I would like to, and I'm delighted to announce, the, woman, the winner of the Woman of Courage Award, Carly Atwell Rolf. All I can say is, Cheryl, you're dead. <laughs> but, to be fair, what I've been through, I couldn't have probably done it without the one person who's been there throughout every operation, put up with some crap from me. <laughs> Kick and scream and cause a frevian. And that's my mum. I literally couldn't do it. Thank you. 